Hey, it's Scott Kubo. I wanted to show you the uh, red light warning feature the Tesla released in March of 2019. So we're in autopilot and we're coming uh, to the exit off the highway and autopilot will slow down on its own, but it won't necessarily always come to a stop. You're really supposed to take over yourself. Uh, but there's a separate system that's monitoring for red lights and identifying if you're about to cross the intersection. And that's me stepping on the brake to come to a stop. Now this warning doesn't happen all the time, it seems pretty random, maybe they're doing a lot of testing in the background. Um, let's take a closer look here at slow motion, and the car sees a line coming up and you get a warning and a little red stoplight sign. So Tesla may be using this as a precursor to actually having the car stop on its own at red lights. Now that may seem very straightforward, but there are plenty of edge cases. And here's an intersection that has a little bit of curve in it, so you can see that it detected that red light to the left, which may have been in the center of the field of view, but it really wasn't the uh, correct red light, so I call that uh, a false positive. Uh, let's slow this down a bit, and um, we can actually bring up the dash cam footage here so we'll get sort of an idea of what the car is actually seeing as it goes through here. Now, as a human being, there's a lot of cues here to know which is the correct light. Uh, we see a green light off to the right. We see the curve in the intersection. Uh, we notice that the, uh, the light that's red is actually a left turn arrow, and we're not in the left turn lane, so that should probably be ignored. But there's plenty of edge cases like this, and Tesla has to hopefully um, identify and correct for them. But the cool thing is that Tesla can get data from uh, real drivers uh, to see if they actually stopped or uh, carried on in that situation. Currently, the stoplight warning uh, feature is only available if you have auto steer on in autopilot, but I can certainly see as they validate more to be available even if you didn't purchase autopilot. Well, that'll about do it. Uh, I'll leave you with a video of autopilot doing its thing merging onto the highway. Big shout out to Amy who took delivery of her new Tesla early in May and Mohit as well. Uh, in the comics, uh, let us know uh, what you got in color and configuration and how you're liking the car. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and found it informative. If you are researching uh, to purchase a new Tesla, you can click on the link and find out how to get yourself uh, free supercharging. As always, I enjoyed having you along for a drive and see you in the next video.